Oh buddy, Andy here again. One of the things that I do with my iPhone, one of those great little apps that I've got on there, is an app called Byline. This isn't a, an advert for them in any way. Um, but it's great because it allows you to link and sync to lots of blogs that you can follow and then you can read them on your phone. I'm sure you can get this app for you know other types of phones, etc. as well. But today I was reading a particular blog. The blog is called Screw Work Let's Play. It's by a guy called John Williams and this is the book you know, of, of the blog, if you see what I mean. And it's a book that I read some time ago. The whole idea behind the book is the fact that you can hopefully make money out of things that you enjoy, things that you're good at. And, you know, and as it says, have a go at doing something different and do something you actually enjoy doing rather than being tied down. I know that's a bit of a utopian thing for some people and it's not necessarily practical for everybody. But the particular blog that he that I read today um, mentioned the artists Gilbert and George. Um, artists from the UK who, who look very similar and they got sort of uh, always wear nice nice uh, tailored suits etc. But they were quoted in the blog as saying uh, talking about their art, they were asked, you know, why do you do art? Why do you bother? You know, why do you keep keep plugging away and keep doing? It? They're very successful in the UK, and basically their answer was one of the one of the quotes in there was, uh, any picture that we don't paint, nobody else will do. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm stealing this a little bit from what John Williams has written, but the whole idea of that was that if I don't do it, or if they don't do it, then nobody else will, because we all think that. Art is a very individual thing. If I do something, it will be a little bit different. It will be unique because it won't be exactly the same as if you did something along the same sort of lines. We've all got a certain amount of talent in it and in us, and I think that's what that was talking about, and in some ways, what that book's talking about as well. And that's another blog altogether. That blog altogether, but saying that you can do something. We've all got talent and you should do it because if you don't, then nobody else can or nobody else will. And you think of all those great artists that we've seen them, you know, to go to galleries. It doesn't matter. It could be music, it could be film, it could be television, it could be writing, poetry, any any type of art, any art form. If that person had, hadn't have created it, nobody else would ever have done it the same way. I know there's that quote about, you know, monkeys and writing Shakespeare if you give them enough time and that type of thing. But uh, I'm not sure that I believe even that. But I'm in a bit of a situation like that at the moment, I suppose, or not myself, people that I'm connected with. They have a talent, they are trying to pursue that talent, they are pursuing that talent to a certain degree, but then other opportunities come along, and this is the same for other people, because you have a hurdle to overcome if you have a talent and you decide to pursue it, like that book. It's a bit of a jump, as I said, not everybody's got the guts to do it. Um, you have to sort of jump over a particular hurdle and start to pursue that sort of path. And sometimes opportunities will come along to you, which might enable you to do that. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the right path for you, especially in the day, the way that we are now with the digital world. You can pursue these things yourself. Hence the fact that this book is there telling you the ways that you can do it. You don't necessarily have to go the, down the tried and tested route. But... This, these particular people have got an opportunity, but you have to look at that opportunity and you have to decide whether it is the right one. Yes, it's going the right way, but is it completely the right avenue to take? And I'm sure we all have those, we all have those questions in life about, you know, the road less travelled and all that type of thing, about taking the wrong turning and ending up somewhere completely different. Sometimes you can take the most immediate path and it's not necessarily the best one. Sometimes you have to stop think about something and maybe take a path off to the side a little bit which may well then end up in a more roundabout way to the goal that you've actually got but if you have got some particular talent but we'll be talking about that particular situation that's one way or the other whichever way the decision or the uh, the whole thing goes um but if you have got a particular talent i think the whole idea of that particular blog post was if you've got it Try and do it, because if you don't do it, then nobody else can, nobody else will. And the world would be a lesser place because of that. Just think of all those artists, as I said, the Da Vinci's of the Michelangelo's and all those type of people, and I say all those writers, etc., that you've read, you've enjoyed over the years. If they hadn't have bothered, then nobody else could have done it in exactly the same way. As I said, most of us, or well, hopefully most of us, have got some sort of talent. Most of us don't ever pursue it for one reason or another. So if you think you have got it, by all means do it. I know we can all think of examples of people on the TV who think they've got a talent and they get up and you think, oh no, please stop. That might just be because it doesn't appeal to you in particular. If it, other people enjoy it, 
That's all that matters. Art only has to appeal to one other person for it to be successful in some ways. It doesn't have to be a multi-million pound, multi-million dollar business that's number one in the charts or gets hung in the National Gallery. If, if you enjoy it, it's been worthwhile. So if you have got something, have a go. You never know. Screw work. Have a go at it. <laughs> Try playing with it. And if you get an opportunity, by all means, think about it before you do pursue it because we can all make hasty decisions and we could end up not being able to pursue the path that we actually wanted to in the first place. But if you've got a talent, please have a go at it because, as I said, the world may well be a lesser place because of it. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for your time. I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.